spirit of excellence. That's what we're going to talk about today. And for some of you listening, this may be a little triggering because just hearing the word excellence may sound like a space of pressure for whatever it is that you're doing, but we're not coming from that at all. That's more on the edge of perfection or perfectionism. And I'll talk a little about that too, but we're talking about the spirit of excellence. And this comes from an internal space, not a trying to prove or trying to fit in or trying to be everything you think someone else says you need to be. This is an internal type of knowledge that brings on an energy that attaches itself to your being, to your identity. We're going to deep dive into that today. And I'm so excited because even as I shared that the spirit of excellence is like an inner knowing, it aligned fully with what I do as a certified life and business coach. And over here, we operate from a space of a holistic business where we look at the totality of building your business from the inside out. And and I love that because I really believe that as within, so without. And so much of the business building process can easily be done from an external space. But Nine times out of 10, you always have to go back to any steps you may have missed as it relates to going within, because you can't keep up the external things unless the internal aspects of you, the person who's building the business and the brand, the internal aspects of the brand itself the internal aspects of the business itself, which includes the business foundation, you you just can't keep up the external stuff unless you get the internal stuff aligned. And so the spirit of excellence is very much an internal thing. And we're going to talk about that today. I'll take a quick moment to introduce myself. I am Tanya Wilson master life and business coach, also known as the growth strategist. And growth is like really huge for me. It's one of my top five values. And I believe that if it is not growing, it is declining. And so over here, we again, look at business from the inside out and we're always focused on how we can grow. Now, mind you, I want you to understand that the energy of growth coming from this space, the Renew community, is not the space of hustle, grind, uh, striving, uh, just trying to chase the bag. It's not coming from that space at all. It's coming from an innate space of evolution and growing and evolving. And so that's what we do here. I mainly work with women, although I have some male clients, but I help women to create businesses that fund their lifestyle and not run their lifestyle. I believe in working smarter and not harder and creating work-life harmony, which means growing your business to the capacity where your business can do business even if you're not available so that you can earn money even in your sleep. We hold the energy to three to five X your income. Many of my clients, that's not just words, have done just that from our time together. And we really go inside. We simplify. We tap into who they are as a brand, their leadership styles. I was thinking just the other day about my exceptional mastermind when I believe I first started that back in 2018. And branding is like a central core aspect of of what I do. Um, And branding is not your logos, websites, or pretty pictures. It's really who you are. 
and defining like what is that thing, those unique things about you that attract your perfect people to you? What do you want the marketplace to feel when they think of your brand and your business or when they experience you? So that's the aspect we take of branding. But in exceptional, it was like a notch above our 3D Academy what we teach in branding there. In the academy, we do branding one-on-one. In our mastermind, we go even deeper and identify, you know, what type of leader you are. And I was thinking how my mastermind members at that time, I asked them what type of leader did they think I was? And they said, sage, which is what I had identified myself as, but It was beautiful to hear what others considered you as. So I have these different archetypes that my clients are able to access and identify which of those archetypes they are. And one of them is the sage. So back in 2018, um, it was just beautiful to hear that that's what I felt I was showing up as was also how the marketplace or consumers were seeing me as well. And when you are able to identify those particular archetypes, it just makes it, it just brings some more alignment to what it is that you're doing and also allows you to operate with the spirit of excellence. What comes to mind for you when you think of excellence? For me, I think of something that's done really, really well. I think of all systems flowing like a well-oiled machine. I think of everything clicking, like all of the signals and all of the energy just connecting exactly where it needs to connect. I think of nature when I think of excellence I because there's so many you know, beautiful systems that God has created that are just operating at such a high level, such a high frequency. I think of nature when I think of excellence, although when you look out into maybe a wooded space, it can look like chaos to the eye that is not attuned to what's going on in nature. For me, you know, one of the things that I've really been able to do now that I have work-life harmony where my business is not growing only for financial richness, but also time richness. My business is time rich. And so it allows me time to really do things that I love. It allows me to operate in my routine that makes you brilliant. You may have heard me speak of that before. Also, I have a video on my YouTube channel that talks about your routine that makes you brilliant for those of you who want to check that out and get an idea of what that is. But I teach my clients that concept because I believe that your routine, what you do on a regular basis is what makes you brilliant. And having an opportunity to really define, number one, what your routine is at the time And what is a more ideal routine that can also evolve and grow with you is a huge factor in your brilliance. I'm watching this um, beautiful, I want to say program, but it's actually two beautiful people who are living an off-grid life. I think it's called uh, Off Grid with Jake and Nicole. And I look at their tenacity and what they're doing. And because I've been gardening, which is what I was sharing with you before, how I've been able to attach to nature in a different way and really understand like how everything is working, even from the decomposed leaves and trees falling and what happens in the ecosystem because of it, all of it is excellence at its absolute finest. And when I'm in my garden and creating compost to make sure that my soil is really rich, the land that I'm currently on now, the back of it was a lot of sand. 
So one of the areas, I garden in three spaces on the property. One of the areas is what I call my kitchen garden. And then um, a, another beautiful area that I've used compost and all those things in. And then one other, the soil, I'm still struggling with getting it um, to the point where my seeds really flourish, right? Where it operates with the spirit of excellence. It's not quite to the space of nature, how nature just beautifully composts everything. I have an area in the yard where the leaves fall from the trees and the soil is just so rich. I even move some of the soil over. It has the perfect amount of worms and all those things. For those of you who may garden or, or get your hands in the dirt, I've encouraged many of you to um, put a seed in the ground and watch it grow because there's a space of, of excellence that you learn about when you, you know, kind of partner with nature in growing things. And so even that is what I think of when I think of excellence. But let me read you a definition of it. Excellence, the quality of being outstanding. Listen, that word <laughs> is high vibrational. Like all the cells in my body were happy when I said that word. The quality of being outstanding or extremely good. Listen, a center of academic excellence. These are, you know, examples of, of what it's saying for um, excellence. And so a spirit of excellence, as I said before, is something that happens on the inside of you. When you even go on a healing journey, it's so easy to adapt a spirit of excellence. So you may be working on one area of your life, but because you're doing this inner work, you now want other areas of your life to be in alignment, whether it's your love life, whether it's your social and cultural life, like you, you want to hang around good people, whether it's your finances and career, you really want your money to be explosive and abundant so that you can have amazing opportunities. And when you hear all of these people who are in need and your heart is saying, man, I would love to just give thousands of dollars to this or donate that. Listen, that's this internal thing bringing you to a space of excellence where you begin to align with things that will allow you to expand um, and be abundant in your finances. This is why I'm always encouraging uh, women to make a lot of money. Not just because of the money, right? The money is um, its a tool. It allows you to, to do things in your life and to do things for others. But there's also this internal process of excellence that takes place as you continue to grow and evolve and earn more money, right? So excellence in itself, the spirit of excellence is very much an internal thing. And I wanted to highlight that one today, hoping to pass along the energy, right? The, the vibration of which excellence stems from to invite you to go on the journey where you tap into your spirit of excellence. I was sharing that even going on a healing journey is this beautiful, um, like technology, internal technology that begins to rise to the surface, that begins to bring output um, for the input that you're putting into your soul, which is your mind, your will, and your emotions. When you're changing those things in your subconscious program that now resonate from a space of abundance that may have been scarcity and lack before, it taps into this portal, this space, this realm of what I like to call the spirit of excellence. Now, it's not perfection because perfection is unrealistic. Nothing is absolutely perfect, but the spirit of excellence is your being. It's what's behind whatever it is you're doing, whether it's your business or your clients that you're servicing, the food that you're cooking for your family. I'm telling you something happens because I've always enjoyed cooking. 
But as I began to do my inner work and tap into the spirit of excellence, I then found value in organic foods. Although I felt I was eating pretty healthy, then I wanted organic. Then I wanted my garden fresh organic. It, it just continues to evolve and grow, if that makes any sense. And it's no different in your business, right? When you tap into that spirit of excellence that's on the inside of you, this is completely uh, the reason I work with my clients from the inside out. We do business from the inside out because there are things on the inside of you that begin to fuel the journey that you're taking, that begin to take some of the resistance and the pressure that you may normally feel as you're doing it. It begins to remove it off the plate and you begin to operate in a spirit of excellence with more ease, more grace, and more flow. That's my take on today. I pray that this has been as much of a blessing to you as it has been to me to allow the downloads to come through me um, in order to give to you. It is my complete uh, pleasure. I am grateful for your listening ear. If you have questions or you're looking for added support in your business, um, I'll leave links in the bottom. There are ways to work with me privately. Um, I have a power hour that actually allows you to upgrade. So let's say, for instance, you invest in a power hour with me and then you decide less than 90 days from the time of your power hour that you want to go into more long term coaching with me, be it um, something bi-monthly, quarterly, you know, for a longer amount of time, you can then take the price that you paid for the power hour and deduct it from the price of the elongated time frames of private coaching. I have an academy, Three to Success Academy for Women in Business. Absolutely amazing opportunity for women to really grow their business and their life. We focus on mindset and branding and marketing, all of the things. Um, it is a year-long opportunity to, um, it's a self-study that allows you live coaching opportunities with me monthly as well. And um, there are just so many amazing ways that I can support you if you're uncertain about where to start. The Power Hour is a good one, but even more, you can message me and we can talk and see how I can best support you. That's my take on today, a spirit of excellence, peace and abundance.